An assault on Taiwan by China's People's Liberation Army is a scenario that has never been far from the imagination. In the event, experts would expect it to include sudden raids and landings on the nation's airfields. The Air Defense Artillery Command is tasked with protecting Taiwan's airspace in such a situation. Let's take a look at their live fire exercises held last night in Pingdong. The night sky in Pingdong's Fengshan Township blazes with two lines of cannon fire. Anti-aircraft artillery are carrying out nighttime drills with our Lycon GDF cannons. <laughs> artillery Corps reload ammunition and point the cannon's muzzle upwards according to radar data. Then wait for the safety officer to order them to fire. As our own radar, a kind of mid to low altitude search radar, when a cruise missile approaches rapidly from far away, you can see the point where it's at very clearly on our display. The precision of these nighttime drills depends on the continuous daily training of both officers and soldiers. No. As soon as the head of the squad gives a command, the battalion's officers and soldiers rush towards the cannons. The soldier in the centre is the marksman, while on his left and right are soldiers in charge of ammunition and others who reload the cannon. The cannon is aiming for this target designed to mimic a cruise missile. You can see it during the day, but at night, of course, we're grasping in the dark. So during peacetime, you need to become familiar with the operations. Combat readiness depends on solid training during peacetime, especially for anti-airborne operations. The cannon power demonstrated here could buy more time for other forces to react in a real combat situation.